Hello YouTube, this is Gnomes Are Nice, and I'm going to be playing a little Frozen Synapse gameplay commentary explanation kind of thing, where I'll be playing through a single mission, explaining to you what, um, what Frozen Synapse is about, and basically what you do during the game. <clears throat> so um, hopefully you'll enjoy it. And yeah, so right now I'm starting a single player mission the first one and that's a good mission to show you what happens and basically what this is it's a turn based strategy game where you have four units usually four units on each team and you can and you control them where they're going to go and and I think it's 25 seconds per turn so in 25 seconds they can move anywhere they want or with the rocket you can have, you can have rocket troops which shoot RPG RPG ammo, um, <clears throat> wherever you tell it to, and they have snipers that, of course, snipe people <laughs> from across, um, from pretty good distances. They have shotgun troops that you can use that are really deadly, close range, and they have fast reflexes. And you have assault rifle troops, which is, have regular assault rifle, and those are mainly your normal units. So. Please click your mouse button when you're ready to die. That's reassuring. So, um, see, it's just having you go through like this little cutscene, and you don't really need to know this. I'm just showing you the gameplay. You don't really need to know the story. Okay, and okay. So here we go. This is the main screen. See, basically down here at the bottom of the screen, there is um, there's a button that's prime, which means that when your turn is made, it'll send that to the computer. And it'll randomly generate the I mean, not randomly generate, but well, actually, kind of for the enemy team. But it'll basically just enter the into the information so let me zoom in so these green people are your units and the red are the enemy units and what you can do you can click on a green unit and let's say I want and want to move right here he can and if I simulate that you can also simulate each turn so I press play and he'll go right there but what if I because what when you notice that when he does that he's looking in that direction and he doesn't see the enemy that's right there what you can do you can click this crosshair and you can make it make him turn towards the enemy so if you simulate it he'll shoot him and then you can also simulate your in the enemy's movements it's so like let's say that the enemy decides he's actually gonna move this direction turn this way and flank him from behind and let's see what happens there So he ends up shooting him. And there's 25 seconds. Let me see if it's correct. No, it's actually 5 seconds per turn. Why was I thinking 25? Oh. So, um. We can just get rid of that. And that's what I want my player. What my, want my unit to do. He'll head over there and shoot this red enemy. And also, I have another enemy down here that I can take care of. And this is a really interesting design of the map. Each map is randomly generated, I'm pretty sure. And you see this red guy, he's actually in a box with no exits. And these like little blue are actually just windows, so like half half um walls. So I'm gonna send my shotgun guy, since this is an assault rifle troop, right here. Aim down here. No, have him already aiming down there. And I'm just gonna have him walk over. Since he has faster reflexes, yeah, he'll win. Doesn't matter where he is. And then you have this guy over here, my green troop, and the red. You have red enemy right there. And I'm going to take him out. I don't really want to go head on, because if I do, he has most likely he's going to shoot me. So I'm going to ha have my unit go down to the bottom and aim towards him. So, if you simulated that, 
it shoots him. And I have two more of the enemy teams. It's not really um, two more units of the enemy team, and it's not really a fair battle. I have four units and they have five, but um, this is a pretty relatively easy level, so it should be able to go through through it fine. <clears throat> so I'm gonna have this shotgun guy, shotgun troop, go right here and aim into this um, half wall. So if he goes anywhere near it, he should win. The shotgun should win. Actually, no, he doesn't. He d the so that's the thing about simulating is that you can kind of anticipate what, or you can kind of do every scenario that. <clears throat> could happen because AI yeah, chooses these random things that you don't really know what they're going to pick. So I'm actually going to have this guy go up here and just kind of wait. Not like kind of camping, but I just want to know where this where this um red guy goes is going to go because I'm not quite sure what he's going to do. And this guy, I'll take him out later since I don't have enough tr troops. So I'm just going to prime and press OK to submit the turn. And basically right here it loads. Um, just like pretty much simulating the whatever happens. OK. So basically what happened, if you go back to turn 1, if you watch, See that shotgun guy killed that that shotgun unit killed that guy. And and this shotgun unit killed that guy, so basically I'm still I'm still good. I haven't lost anybody. And see right here, I've noticed that my the enemy right here is looking down this area. So I kind of have the drop on him if I was to get around the run around the corner and take him out and see if that works. See, it does. Yeah. And also, you can also s see that um, this number two red enemy is shooting at my green shotgun troop, and he can actually hit him through this little gap right here. So I'm going to have him quickly run around the corner. And I'm going to turn on continue on sight, which means that even if he sees the enemy, he won't shoot at him. He'll just keep going. And that also makes him run faster than if, if he had engage on sight on. So I'm just going to have him run around the corner like that so he doesn't get killed. And this guy, he's right next to this assault rifle guy, assault rifle troop. So I'm going to have him kind of scoot over a little bit, see if he can take him out. And he can't. So instead of that, delete all the actions that I told him. I'm going to have him walk this way. Go around the corner. And try to get him from behind. See if I can. Yes, I can. And so I think I have all my units. Actually, this guy, I'll, have, I'll send him on a zone little mission. I'm gonna send him right here. So just in case if this guy runs through this hallway, he'll still be able to get him. Alright, well I'm going to prime and submit the turn. So let's see what happens. Okay, I lost the unit. But I did get this unit right here, that was right here, but I lost this unit, because he was expecting him. Alright, well, so, now that I've lost the unit, I'm going to send this guy, actually, to try to come up from behind him. And I don't think he can get there in five seconds, but he'll be close. And I have two enemies remaining, so I'm going to send this shotgun troop. <clears throat> up here to kind of watch this little corridor, this little room, just in case if any enemies walk in there. And I'm going to send this shotgun troop 
into this room facing this direction so that if the red enemy goes into this room he'll die or hopefully I'll win so I'm going to prime since I have all my units turn set up and let's see and I lost a unit and um, I think I'm about to lose this unit too it's really it's a pretty bad game I mean not like no no this ga the game itself is really fun but this game I'm doing really bad kinda making some big mistakes I think I don't like this thing. Um, so I'm gonna see what happens. Yeah, and I will die. I'm trying to see if there's any way for me to... If I can maybe duck. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna die anyways. This guy really has no help. He's gonna... Well... Sucks, but... I'm gonna send this troop around. He's gonna see if he can take out the shotgun guy. And yeah, so now we got the turns sorted out. Press OK. So he's gonna run around the corner. Oh! He ends up doing something completely different than I thought he was going to do. And this is really bad because he's already looking at the door and this guy is coming around the corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him keep going around that door way and look down this room just in case some if they go into this certain area. So I'm going to prime. It's okay. And there's a limit of eight turns. So I think I'm gonna turn six, yeah. Okay, so I, I lived there. But they're waiting for me, they're expecting when I come. So what I'm going to have this guy do. This might be suicide. I doubt it though. Tell him to continue on site. And I'm gonna have him come right here. And shoot him. Yeah, that'll work out. So I'm gonna go to Prime. And let's see what happens. Oh, this isn't good. Well, I lost. <laughs> That was pretty bad, but you get the basic idea of this game. It's it's also multiplayer, so if you want to play with your friends or other people, you can. And um, right now, I think it's on sale for 17 I think it's 15 bucks actually, on Steam. So I advise that you pick it up. It's a really addictive game. And you can also edit the games and edit the missions and stuff like that, but it's really fun. So, um, please rate, comment, and subscribe on the video, and thank you for watching.